My hobby in life is kissing frogs. Ever since I was a kid, I loved the idea that you kiss a frog and inside is a princess. So I love derelict and broken things and mending things and um, putting things back into good heart. I, I restored a, a lost estate in Cornwall that had disappeared from 1915 when all the, uh, the gardeners died in the war. And that was fantastic fun doing that. And I've just become passionate about organizing events stage shows where people can actually find that working together you can do amazing things and after that i did the eden project in cornwall which we've had now 21 million visitors um and i guess it's the most successful man-made environmental center in the world but the point of it is actually is you should burn it down if it wasn't changing things and for example the things that you and i are both interested in it's about making the whole world realize that science isn't something that should be in a box. It isn't something that you go away to study. It is actually the observation of everything that is around you. And I know that you and I are both fans of um, what we would call natural philosophy um, and want to put the sciences back together into transdisciplinary study of things so that everybody gets excited about seeing the interconnectedness of things. I know that you have um very strong opinions on how we need to make war on the bland was a phrase that yeah. you said when someone points out the invisible biome of your body and how it operates and how absolutely extraordinarily complex and beautiful that is that is the first thing that is extraordinary to you then when you start to study mycorrhiza the fungal structures in the soil and you realize that they are so alike you start to think a bit like a hippie in the 1960s. We are all stardust. We are all earthlings. I think we're living at a time in history that is unbelievable when we are going to discover that we're all sort of made of the same stuff and how utterly crazy. I mean, this show has been put together because of uh, the impact of coronavirus. But what an extraordinary thing for the whole world to realize how connected it actually is through this bad thing. But wouldn't it be marvellous if it became a stimulus for people to understand the sheer magic and wonder of a planet, our only planet, that is totally interconnected and that we should not, under any circumstances, allow ourselves to damage it and should be thrilled at the challenges of learning to work within its weft and weave. And I know that you feel the same. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I know that this is, uh, in many ways, a, a global disaster and that it's caused... Um, a huge amount of, of, of suffering for, for many people. But I, I really hope that, that there's a way that we can take the, take the learnings of this and turn it into something positive to, try and to, to drive some long-term positive change.